Hi kids, it's about that time. We're about to read a book. So I need you to do a couple of things. Open up your eyes nice and wide. Pop, pop. I need you to put on your listening ears. Click, click. I need you to close your mouths. Zip it, zip, lock it, click. Put it in your pocket. Clap your hands and put it in your lap. Now I think we're ready. Okay, today we're going to read a, a book written and illustrated by me, Miss Campos. It's called Maybe I Will Be. O para los estudiantes que saben español, vamos a leer Quizás Seré, escrito e ilustrado por Miss Campos. Lo pueden encontrar en el website www.scrappy-dudes.com. Ms. Campos's lesson, make your own pizza. What is your favorite topping? Do you have a different topping than the ones on the right hand side? What would your pizza look like? Things you will need. For the pizza, glue or glue stick, scissors, cardboard cut into a circle, scraps of paper of all colors for your toppings. For the chef's hat, you'll need scissors, white paper, a stapler, you might need help from a parent or older sibling, and a marker. You can also draw your own pizza with the toppings you want and color it. Hi, this is Miss Campos, and we just finished reading Maybe I Will Be, and in Spanish, Quizás Seré. And these books were written and illustrated by Miss Campos. And in the book, they talk about different careers, different things that you can do when you grow up. So one of them was maybe I will be a chef. So today we're gonna put on our chef hats. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our chef hat. So I have this um, piece of white thin cardboard. Maybe you can find um, cardboard from like a cereal box that you've used or something like that. And I'm going to draw a chef hat shape. And I will show you with my marker. So I have my chef hat shape. And now I'm going to take some scissors and cut it out. that I'm a chef. So I'm going to put chef C-H-E-F chef and then my name. My marker kind of ran out a little bit. But here you have chef Campos. So I'm going to take these two scripts of cardboard, thin cardboard, and I'm going to staple one to one side. And I'm going to staple the other one to the other side. Why well, I need to staple it right there for my chef hat. I'm a chef today. So now we're going to make a pizza. So I cut a circle out of cardboard. I have some red paint and a brush and I'm going to paint my red sauce on my pizza. I'm going to leave a little edge for the crust of my pizza because crust is brown like the cardboard. Kind of looks like sauce to me. So see right here, I left an edge of brown for the crust. I'm 
Eat Pink Paint with my red. And now we've been doing a lot of projects with construction paper, so I saved some of those scraps from our Piet Mondrian lesson and things like that. So I have these yellow pieces that now I can rip and stick onto my pizza as my cheese, my toppings. I wonder what your favorite topping is for your pizza. Is it pepperoni? Is it sausage? Maybe you guys can tell me in class what your favorite topping is. And if you have trouble thinking about toppings, I have some pizza toppings over here. Maybe you want some cheese, some pepperoni, broccoli on your pizza. Let's see who wants broccoli on their pizza. Bacon, olives, onions, chicken, mushrooms, jalapenos, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, sausage, spinach, banana peppers, red pepper, green pepper, steak, uh, green jalapeno, carrots, it's carrots on my pizza, I don't know, pineapples and ham, all these different things you can put on your pizza. You can draw them and then cut them out and put it, glue it onto your pizza, or maybe you can make it out of construction paper, all these different things that you can do. So right now I have the red sauce, some yellow cheese, but I think I want some white cheese too. I have some white scraps, and look, I, I take paper from other projects that I've cut out, and I'm recycling. Ms. Campbell loves to recycle. Some blue dots. white cheese, some yellow cheese, and I know I have red paint, but I think I want to put some red paper on top too. It's going to look a little different, give it some texture. cardboard circles that I've cut out. I'm going to glue some of those onto my pizza too. Do you want to see what it looks like with those cardboard circles? I have some styrofoam that I have cut out. So I think I'm gonna add some of those too. I think it's gonna look like mozzarella cheese. It'll be super nice because it'll like pop out a little bit. A little bit 3D. You want to see what it looks like with those styrofoam pieces? And I have some cardboard squares. I think this is almost done. like a delicious pizza. And now I think it's time to put it in a, the oven. I have my oven over here made out of cardboard. I even have flames on the inside. And let me show you some other ideas. So here's a pepperoni pizza. I drew some pepperoni and glued it on. Here's a jalapeno pizza. 
some green jalapenos in there. Pineapple and ham. See the little pineapple chunks and yellow and the ham pieces. This one's just plain cheese and sauce. I remember the crust in this one. So all of these, I can't wait to see your pizzas. Have a good day. Bye. You can find different objects around your house that can be used for toppings and take a picture and send it to Miss Campbell's. Or you can make a pizza using crayons, markers, paint, stickers, construction paper, really whatever you would like on your pizza. Don't forget to submit your work. Miss Campbell's is putting together a virtual art gallery with the best artwork. So use your imagination and get creative. Can't wait to see what you come up with.